Hi, guys. Hi. Hi, how are you? Hi, teacher. Hi, Hi good teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Sorry, I'm having problems with the connection. But I'm worried. It's okay. All right. How was your day? Everybody okay? Yes. It's okay. Yeah? Average. Yes. Yes. All right. Yes. Is it raining by your house or only on my house? No, not here. Not there? Oh, my goodness. Lucky you. Not here either. All right. Very good. Okay. You have to bear with me then. All right. Okay. So, yesterday we were talking about, or we were using the song at the end of the class. Were you able to finish it? Kind of? No? Oh, oh, you printed it, Joasa. Very good. Nice. All right. Good for you. Okay. I did it in a well. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. Very good. Well, you don't have it with you, do you? Do you guys have it with you? No? I have it on me. Yeah. Yeah? All right. You know what? We're going to... um. I'm going to share with you the answers at the end of the class, okay? So because I want to go on with the new topic that we have for today's class, okay? Do you guys, um, have you studied, I mean, have you seen the uh, video for the following topic? We're going to be talking today about noun clauses after B, okay? So what I'm going to do right now, we're going to go to the platform just to watch a short, um, the, the short explanation, and then I'm gonna show you a PPT, okay? All right, guys? <laughs> just give me a second here. All right, can you see, can you guys see? Yes. Yes, yes. perfect, yes. thank you. All right, so noun clauses yes. after B. I'm gonna show you this, we're gonna listen to the audio and then we're gonna go to use a PPT that I have for you and we're gonna talk a little bit about what is a noun clause, all right? Just to remind you that what that is, okay? Sentence or the object of a verb. Who words that function to get in bathroom. All right, noun clauses have to be. Remember, a noun clause is a group of words that function together as a noun. It can be the subject of a sentence or the object of a verb. We want you to pay attention on the word that signals the beginning of a noun clause. That in noun clauses after be is optional. Also notice the prepositions that are used with the following noun. Let's work on an example. One benefit of being an only child is that you get a lot of attention. That you get a lot of attention is a noun clause. Every noun clause has a subject and a predicate. In the above example, you is the subject and get is the verb. All right, we're going to stop it right there, guys. Okay, so a noun clause. Uh, no, you know what? I want to I wanna know if you know what a, no, a noun clause is. Anybody with an idea or that you guys know about what a noun clause is? Anybody? What is a noun clause for you? No? Anybody? Ideas? No? It's like uh, sentences that depends in another one. Who's talking to me right now? Armando. Armando, with you? Yes. All right, very good. Okay, say it again, Armando, please. What's a noun clause? That is a noun that it depends in another sentence. From another sentence, that's right. Okay, so I'm going to stop sharing this with you right now. I just wanted to show you that. Now, as Armando was saying, a noun clause is a dependent clause. Remember that in English, we talk about, when we say clauses, it's like saying sentences, okay? So in English, I guess we do have them in Spanish as well, but in English, we have like two sentences or two clauses. The main clause and that, or the, the independent clause and, and the dependent clause. The dependent one is the one that cannot be 
spoon that needs help with another one, okay? If you just have a dependent clause, it doesn't really have a full meaning, all right? So you need a dependent clause within an independent clause to make a complete complex sentence, okay? That's pretty much what it is. Now, I'm gonna share this with you right now here, and we're gonna talk about it, okay? So here we have, this is the exercise we're gonna be working with later. All right, so we have noun clauses, and I'm just gonna take you, uh, explaining you since the very beginning so we understand it better, okay? So we have noun clauses, okay? Now, for you to know, there are many different types of noun clauses. Right now, we're studying the noun clause after B, okay? Because that's the one that we have on the platform. Now, uh, let's see, Idalia. Uh, do you mind reading, Idalia, please? A noun clause? Okay. Uh, a noun clause is a group of words with a subject and a verb. Thank you. All right. So you need to understand that a noun clause has a subject and it has a verb. The same thing that was said at the beginning on the video. All right. So it says that a, a noun clause has to have a subject and it has to have a verb. Okay, let's continue here. Uh, let me see. Um, Amilcar, do you mind reading, please? Okay, uh, you can recognize a noun clause by one of the relative pronouns or adverbs that begin the clause. Excellent, thank you. Now, how can we recognize that we have a noun clause in one sentence? It's easy, we need to identify or we need to know that it begins with a relative pronoun, okay? It can be that, who, which, whom, whose, whomever, whatever, whenever, all those are relative pronouns or adverbs, okay? They begin the, I mean, the um, noun clauses, okay? In this time, like in this class, we're gonna study that we're going to use the relative pronoun that because that's the one that we're using on the platform now it's very important for you to know that there are many many relative pronouns depending on what you want to talk about if you're talking about people then you use the relative pronoun who okay the guy who wears a black t-shirt is my brother all right who is the uh, relative pronoun uh, you can say which all right, the house which is pink is my mother's, all right? Because you're talking about a, an object. That can be used with either or who or which, okay? So that's like relative pronouns can be that, who, where, when, which, whom, whomever, who, who's, whatever, whenever, all those are relative pronouns, okay? Right now we're only studying that, okay? Now, a noun clause consists of three components, all right? Edwin, do you mind reading, please? What are the three components that we need to look for? Your microphone, Edwin. A relative pronoun for Albert, mm -hmm. a subject. Yes. Okay. Excellent. All right. So, when you, what does um, a noun clause consist of? It has to have three things. A relative pronoun. So, in other words, it has to have what, uh, that, who, which, where, when. Those are relative pronouns. You have to identify it by using one of the relative pronouns. The next thing that you need to identify is that it has to have a subject. And the third thing that you need to like know about the noun clauses is, is that it needs to have a verb, okay? So those three things are very important for you to know, a relative pronoun, a subject, and a verb, and that's a noun clause, okay? Let's go on here. Now, I said, because this is what it is on the platform, we're going to be using noun clauses with that, okay? Now, that it is a relative pronoun, okay? So it's okay. So we could, we could have one of the three components, a relative pronoun, which is that. Then we will need to look for a verb, I mean a subject, and then we need to look for a verb. Now, something that is interesting is that that 
can often be omitted, all right? If you remember, I'm gonna go back, guys, to the video here quickly so you guys see it. Here it says one and only child. Can you see? Yes? Guys, can you see? Yeah, okay. Uh, one benefit of being an only child is, this is the verb, be, that you get a lot of attention. The relative pronoun is that. You is the subject. Get is the verb. So it has the three components, yes? The relative pronoun, the subject, and the verb. Now, that can be omitted. The one benefit of being an only child is you get a lot of attention. All right, so you can omit it. If you if we go back here, I think it was like about here, being an only child is that you get a let me see here. In okay, if you see this video, you notice that the relative pronoun that is on it's in brackets. Yes, it's in brackets because it can be omitted. You may use it or you may not, but that's okay. Either or it's um, a noun clause, okay? Because it's there, you just imagine it, but you know it can be like placed or it can be omitted, but that's okay. It's easier for us to uh, use it because then we can see the three components that make up a noun clause, a relative pronoun, a subject, and a verb, okay? Sometimes if we omit that, you can say, oh, but it only has two components. No, don't worry about it, it's there. But that can be omitted. Do you understand what I'm saying, guys? Yes, nod your heads, yes? Or say no yes. if you don't understand. <laughs> All right, very good. Okay, thumbs up, very good. Let's go back here. All right, so let's keep on working with our presentation here, which is this one. So as I said, noun clauses with that, those are the ones we're using and talking about. Remember that that can off it, all right? Yes? Guys okay with it? Okay, perfect, thank you, very nice. Okay, this is the same part of the, um, the video that we have on the platform. I just want someone to read it, all right? I need three volunteers to read the three sentences. Uh, maybe Miguel, you can be one, Daisy, you can be the other volunteer. It's not really a volunteer because I'm volunteering you. And uh, Lydia, you can read the other one, the third one, please. Okay. Thank you. An advantage of having an older brother is that you always have someone to help you. Excellent. Or an, an advantage of having an older brother is you always have someone to help you. Very good, thank you. Can you tell me the three components on those sentences, on that sentence, please? Um, I think it was you and always. All right. And, uh, I mean, it's uh, you. Use a subject. What is that? What is that, Fatima? That is a relative pronoun. Excellent. You as the subject. Yes. And what is the verb? And have. Have is the verb, right? Very good. If you notice in this sentence, you have an adverb of frequency between you and have, but that's okay. It still has the relative pronoun, the subject, and the verb, okay? Very good. Okay, who is the next one that's going to read? Daisy, was it you? Who's reading the second sentence? Hello. Yeah. Okay. The best thing about having brothers and sisters is that you are never lonely. Very good, Daisy. Daisy, can you tell me the components of that sentence you just read? It's the connected about and the uh, frequency of verb than ever. Right. And the subject is you. Uh-huh. So what is the verb you said? What would be the verb of that sentence? Are. Are. Very good. Yes. Are. So you have, yeah. Are, are is lonely? Is, lonely is not a, a, a verb. All right. 
So that would be the relative pronoun, okay. you would be the subject, and R is the verb, all right? Who's reading the last sentence? I said someone was reading the last sentence. I can't remember who I said it. No? All right. Eddie, can you read the last sentence, please? A problem with having lots of brothers and sisters is that you get uh, you don't get a very big allowance. Allowance. All right. Very good. Allowance. Right. Sorry. Thank you. That's okay. So tell me the three components of your noun clause. Um, having is the verb, and you is the subject. What is the verb of the of the noun clause? Get having get no. Uh, we're talking about oh, yeah, the yeah, noun get. clause, right? Yeah, the second yeah, part yeah, of yeah, the yeah, sentence. Got yes. confused. That's okay. So if we in this case would be a negative verb, which is don't get, but the verb is get. Yeah. You have the subject you and you have that which is the relative pronoun. Yes? Yes. Excellent. All right. Do you guys understand this? Yeah? All right. If you notice why clauses after B is because all of these ones if you if you take a look at them and if you pay attention it says an advantage of having an older brother is uh, the best thing about having brothers and sisters is again is a problem with having lots of brothers and sisters is all right so we're using the verb B and right after that we're using the noun clause how do we know it? Because we have a relative pronoun. In this case, we're using that. But remember, it can be easily omitted. Yes? Do you guys understand that? Yeah? Thumbs up or thumbs down? You're okay with it, guys? Guys, you're very quiet. Uh, yeah? I just have a question. Uh, it's yes. Not, it's not hard, just, uh, I mean that when you have, or they, they don't have, they don't okay. have, Cool. Ooh, I'm sorry, you're breaking up. I cannot really understand what you're saying. I'm sorry. Uh, okay, okay. I mean that if the verb you don't have to be close with the uh, verb, with the subject. With the subject. Yeah. If you that, notice, that uh -huh. better. It's better if they, they are not continuously. No, uh, like the, if you pay attention, Julio, for example, in the first sentence, well, in all of them, you have the subject, then in this case, you have an adverb of frequency, and then you have a verb, but that's okay. That's okay. All right. As long as you have them, the three of them, it's okay. All right. Excellent. Okay. What I want you to do, guys, right now, can you take a picture of this? You're going to take three pictures. Take the first one here. This is picture number one. All right. This is picture number two. Ready? And this is picture number three. Got it. Sure can, yes. can you put the first one? Yeah. This is picture number one. Okay, thanks. Picture, you're welcome. Picture number two. You got it, guys? Yes? Okay. And this is picture number three. What I want you to do right now is I want you to go to your group. All right, I'm gonna send you to your group. On the first picture, I only want you to read, all right? Because it's already underlined for you. Just read it so you practice your reading, all right? And yeah, send it, Miguel, I'm gonna try to send it right now uh, on the, on the, on the uh, group, uh, on the chat. And then for picture number two and picture number three, Read the information and try to finish the sentences using the relative pronoun. Okay, that and then continue. You understand? Yes? Yeah, okay.
the trouble I have an image character the trouble is not one can ever tell us apart. Hi Eugenia, hi Fatima, are you working okay? Hi. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> hi, okay. sorry. <laughs> I was talking to you, but I didn't have my earphones on. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Everything okay, girls? Yeah, for now. Sorry? For now, yes. Okay. We think. Okay, okay. Did, yes. you, did you do the reading together? Did you read together? The first picture? Yes, we're, yes. Okay. Yes, we're reading the sentences. Okay, from the second picture or picture number three? No, picture number two. Okay, perfect. Okay, thank you. So remember that the idea is to share ideas, all right? And, sh and to share answers with like your partners, okay? Yeah. Thank okay. you. Okay. Hi, David. Hi, Dave. Hi. 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 How are you guys doing? And we are thinking about it. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> all right, David, very good. Which, uh, where are you, like, which sentence are you working on right now? Number two, but um, yeah, number two. The problem with having a large family, that one. No. Yeah. Okay. All right. Did you read the reading together, Daisy and David? Yeah. Yeah. For picture number one, the idea is just to read, to practice a reading. That's it. All right. And then picture yeah. number two and picture number three is to work on the uh, the exercises. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Let me know if you need any help, okay? Okay, sure. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, Armando. Hi, Dalia. Hi, teacher. Are you guys Hi. doing okay? Armando and Dalia, everything okay? Yes? Yes, we yes. have finished the sentences. We are oh. just reading the... The reading. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. Okay, so the whole, like the picture two and picture three is finished already, the exercises. Yes. Oh, okay, very okay. good. Just give me a couple of minutes because not everybody's finished, okay? Okay. Thank so you, 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 may, you may keep on practicing. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay. Okay. Me va a salir lo de madre, no? Hi, Eli. Hi, Miguel. You guys finished? Hi. Um, almost. Oh, yes. oh, okay. Yeah, That's okay. All right. All right. Very good. Uh, Miguel, did you guys receive the, the PPT on the chat? No. I sent it. Uh, not on the WhatsApp, not on the WhatsApp group, on the chat of the platform. Okay. Not in here because it's no. a different group, I think. All right. Okay. Well, I send it to the main group. So probably, well, it's going to be there anyway. All right. Yeah. So and did you guys doesn't appear here? Oh, okay. All right. Did you did you do the reading also? Did you read the reading? <laughs> yeah. All right. Very good. Okay. Nice. Okay. Keep on working, guys. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Far away from my family is they left. They let. Yeah. Uh -huh. They let. Okay. Let you go. Let you go. You go everywhere. Hi, Veronica. Hello. Hi. Hi. What are you like? What are you working on right now? Which sentence? The uh, with the, using the noun clause, mm -hmm. we are on question number six. Oh, okay. Very good. Thank you. Yes. Nice. Keep on working. Mm. Okay. And one. Hi, Laura. Hi. Did you guys finish, Laura and Eric? You finished everything? No, no we I just don't okay. understand. No, we just are. <laughs> we just I we don't are. Know how I am in shock. What happened, Laura? What's your shock? Um, <laughs> <laughs> is there something you don't understand, Laura? Mm, I I don't see it in, 
the picture, the image. The image, do you want me to share with you right now? Is, uh, is the problem I don't see well without glasses. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. All right, okay. So I try to to to, to send read? to her, but okay. yeah, but it's not the same, you know. If you can see it, yeah, the, the, yeah, I know the letter. So yeah, right, yeah, I get it. Mm. But we found you found a way to on. <laughs> <laughs> we found two now classes. So all right, okay, all right. But you haven't done the the written exercises at it yet. No. All right, that's okay. Uh, yeah. All right. I mean, the reading, Eric and Laura, is just to read, all right? I mean, it's to practice a reading. And then the exercises from picture number two and picture number three are like the ones that you are supposed to work in, right? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Okay, I know. Hi. Uh, I'm going to, I'm sorry, we're going to continue the, the third page. All right, so I have two Ephraims in class. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, haven't, I didn't realize that before. I'm sorry, Ephraim. Cruz and Ephraim. All right. Yeah. <laughs> All right, did you guys uh, read the reading? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. All right. Okay. Very good. And did you finish like these sentences or not yet? Yeah. Uh, oh, I couldn't hear you, Efrain. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, we did. Oh, everything is done. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we have some doubts. Okay. Yet. Okay. Instance, what happened? We're talking with, with my partner about a second one, for instance. Uh huh. Uh, for instance, uh, I can't see the image right now. Uh, who's sharing it with you? I mean, are you sharing it or do you want me to share it? No, I was sharing with Ivan, but the image disappeared right now. I can't tell you what I... Okay, so you have the, the second one here. For instance, uh -huh. uh, can we say we're talking to with Ivan? For instance, uh -huh. let's, see, let's see the third one. Okay. You said, well, the, the problem of having, oh, pardon me, the problem of living with my mother-in-law is that we disagree about everything. Yeah. Is that okay? Perfect. Is that okay? Perfect. Okay. Thank you. Thank is you. So, that disagree? Is that, disagree, sir. Uh huh. Yes. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. About everything. Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's see that. Uh, the uh, the next the next sentence. Yeah. The is, fourth one. Uh huh. The, the first one, yeah. The worst thing of having the worst thing of having twin sisters <laughs> is that they always want to know all about my personal life. All right. Is that they always want? Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So you have okay. the verb so, be, then you have the relative clause. You are using an adverb of frequency. You always. All right. Yes. And then you uh, want want they always want to know. Right. That's what you said. Yes, yes. All right, okay. and that's the verb. Perfect, no? Efraín and Iván, you're okay. super okay, good. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Thanks, nice, thanks. excellent. Um, if, is it Iván or Efraín? How do you want me to call you? Uh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> sorry? Efraín or Iván? Okay. It doesn't matter. No, no problem, yeah. problem. Okay. No. <laughs> so it's Efraín the first and Efraín the second. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, very good, guys. Good job. Excellent. Okay, thank you. Excellent. Thank you. We're going to go back soon, okay? Just give me a couple of minutes because not everybody's okay. finished. Yeah. No problem. Okay. Thank okay. you. You may keep on practicing. Are you guys okay. both from Metapan? Yep. Oh, cool. I, I, guess, I guess so. Yes, me yeah, too. Yeah, I think most of you guys are from Metapan, huh? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So how did you know about these classes, guys? Well, well uh, I don't know. Well, let me tell you one thing. Uh-huh. Uh, one of the stories is that my daughter knows Ivan. 
Oh, okay. Yeah, but at the beginning, I didn't know. I didn't know, but she told me about it. Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nice. All right. And how did you find out, Ivan? How did you find out about these classes? Um, so yeah, I don't know. No, no. How did you find out about these English classes? Sorry. How did you know about the classes? Like about about these classes, how did you know? You can hear me. That's okay. That's okay, Ivan. That's okay. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Okay. All right. You're talking about the course, right? Yeah, I'm talking, talking about, about the, the courses. Course. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. I I knew about about it because my sister. I mean, my my daughter. Found Your it. daughter. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Internet. So. Cool. All right. Interesting. Very nice. Yeah. Does your daughter speak English too, Efrain? Well, let me tell you that she's studying too. Okay. For the basic one, basic oh, level. All right. Okay. Yes. Cool. Yes. All right. Very nice. So the whole family. <laughs> the whole family. <laughs> nice. Very good. Cool. Thank, thank you, everybody who's working on this. <laughs> yeah. Very nice. Thank you. All right. I think I'm gonna close the rooms right now, so we have time to check them. All right, and then we we it's like the the hour flies, so it's time to go. But. We're going to go okay. right now back to the main session. Thank you, guys. Good, good. Okay, thank you. Okay, guys, welcome back. Uh, were you able to finish pretty much? Yes? So-so? Kind of? Yeah. yeah? Yes, All right, sure. very good. Thank you. All right, I'm going to share the presentation again just so we can talk about it. Okay, so this is... Just give me a second here. Okay. Yeah. So this is the reading, guys. It's not, not a big deal. The only thing that you had to do was to read it. Okay. Remember yesterday we did, excuse me, we did a listening practice with the song. All right. Today we did a, a little reading practice with this reading passage. Okay. So it's not only about like speaking, but also like helping you develop the other skills that are very, very important, okay? So yesterday listening, today reading, plus the speaking part, okay? So sometimes we're gonna try to do that. So we are always like using all the skills and practicing them, okay? So no big deal. The only thing I wanted you to see is that right here, all right, it says, is that I always have someone to talk to. So you, if you notice, you have the verb is, all right? Then you have the relative pronoun that, then you have the subject I, then you have have, all right? You have always in between, but that's okay. All right, did you find another one here or that that was the only one? There are two there more than I find. All right, all right. okay, oh tell me another one. The trouble have... with not having any privacy is that I never have any space. I can okay. call my own. My own. <laughs> all right, okay. So unfortunately, one of the disadvantages is that I never have any privacy, all right? So where does the, uh, the noun clause begins, guys? Where does it begin? One of, the, the, one of the disadvantages is that I never have any privacy. Where does the noun clause begin? I. That. That, uh-huh. That I let that I never have any privacy. Excellent, that I never have any privacy. That is the relative pronoun in this case. I is the subject, have is the verb, all right, thank you. And the other one, what was the other one? And of course the trouble with not having any privacy is that I is never, that have, I any never have any space. Very good, so where, uh, Miguel, where is, or where does the, uh, the noun clause begins in that sentence, Miguel? The relative pronoun will be that, uh -huh. and the noun clause will be, I never have any space they can call my own. That's right. All right. Very good. All right. So in that case, you have I again as a subject and have again as the verb. Okay. So no problem with that, guys. Very good. Then we had this one. It says combine these two sentences into one sentence using noun clauses. And you I'm the youngest in my family. The best thing is I'm the center of attention. All right. So with those two um, ideas, you have to make one. All right. Using, of course, a noun clause with a relative pronoun. 
the best thing about being the youngest is that I'm the center of attention. You have is, and right after that, you have the relative pronoun that, and after that, you have I, and then you have the verb am. Um. Yes? And then the rest of it. Okay, perfect. Let's see, who wants to tell me number two? I have a lot of kids. The disadvantage is I always have to do that after them. How can you join these two sentences and make one using a noun clause? Me. Uh -huh. okay. Tell me. The parental is with... No, sorry. The advantage of have a lot of kids is that I have to clean up after them. All right. So that is a, say it again, Lydia. The advantage. The disadvantage. Oh, disadvantage of have a lot of kids. Of having, is that, of having a lot of kids. Uh huh. Of having a lot of kids is that I have to clean up. Is that I have to. Excellent. Very good. Nice. Jonathan, thank you, Lydia. Well done. Jonathan, can you read can you tell us number three, please? I live with my mother-in-law. The problem is we disagree about everything. Uh-huh. The microphone, Jonathan. The problem of living with my mother-in-law is that we disagree about everything. That's right. All right, very nice. Okay, who wants to do number four? Any other volunteer? Yes. yes, okay. The worst thing of having two sisters is that they always want to know all about my personal Excellent. life. Excellent, very nice, nice, all right. And the last one, guys, I have a The trouble is no one can ever tell us apart, uh-huh. That would be cool. The trouble of uh, having an um, identical twin. Identical twin, uh huh. Is no, yeah, is no one can ever tell us apart. Okay, is no one can ever tell us apart, or is that no one can ever tell us apart? Very good. You can omit it, and that's why you did. Very nice. All right, the last part, guys. Use noun, use noun clauses and information. Oops, I can't read. Information of your own to complete this is these sentences. So number one. A disadvantage of having siblings who are successful is that my parents expect me to be successful too. All right, Ivan, can you read number two for us, please? Ivan, Ivan? Ivan, are you there? All right, Efrain, can you read number two? I think you had it like the same pretty much. And then Veronica, you can do number three. Thank you. Efrain, are you there? No, Ivan, no. Okay, Veronica, read number two then, please. Veronica? Sorry. That's okay. The problem with having a large family is that you never have privacy by your own. Oh my goodness, that you never have privacy on your own. All right, very good, thank you. I'll volunteer to do number three, please, guys. Anybody? Beach. Yes, Miguel, thank you. Um, the, best, the best thing about having grandparents is that you can always listen to their advice. Excellent, nice, very good. Thank you, Miguel. All right, who's gonna do number four? I need four, five, six, and seven, guys. Volunteers, uh-huh, Joseph, thank you. <laughs> All right, number four. Okay, number four. The trouble with being part of the two income family is, is that I can share a long time with my parents. Okay, yeah, is that I can't share. Okay, very nice, very good. Now, thank you, Joseph. Number five, who's doing number five? Volunteer, Fatima. Thank you, perfect, Fatima. <laughs> okay. One benefit of, of living far away from your family is when you can go out at night. Excellent, Fatima. <laughs> All right, very good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Only an example, right? Very good. <laughs> yeah. Number six, um, Julio. All right, can you do number six? Thank you for volunteering, Julito. All right. <laughs> I did. I did. Really, I know, me. but I volunteered you. The worst thing about having a family vacation is the worst thing about taking a family vacation is that you can be alone always. All right. Okay. Very nice. And Armando, can you do the last one? An advantage of living with siblings is? Yes, an um, advantage of living with siblings is that you have someone to talk. All 
All right, and to fight with. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. All right, very good. Okay. All right, guys. So it's pretty much time to go. It's almost five to nine. Thank you so much again for being in another class. So today we studied clauses or noun clauses with the verb be. All right, so that's pretty much what the uh, exercises on the platform are, are all about. So tomorrow we're going to do something like a little bit not so grammatically like we have been working on, but again, it's a topic from the platform anyway, all right? So remember that tomorrow is the last day of this week's class and pretty much the first week is over, all right? And just how this one flew like this, the, the other three are gonna pass by the same way, all right? So thank you so much for being with me and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you. Bye. 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 Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.